I'm more edgy actually. I think uh, I find it all very stressful now. I mean, it's, you know, it's, it's so busy, but also there's, um, you know, I think it's the you know the expectation and, and all the rest of it. And of course, like any parent, you just want things to go right for your kids, even though you know there's nothing that you can do about it. So um, yeah, I mean, but there is. I mean, actually seeing the crowd coming in and you sense the excitement of everybody you know filing up to the to the gates just waiting for them to open and yeah. I mean you know it's, it's the biggest tennis tournament in the world it's the biggest prize in tennis and it's the you know the highlight of the or one of the sporting highlights of the of the British uh, summer so it's it's I've great to be part of it, of it but I think it well, he's um, had a tough time actually this this year with illnesses and injuries. So his preparation this year hasn't been perfect for him. But you know, in sport, you have to learn to adapt and take sort of what's thrown at you. But he definitely has been getting better and better each day. And I know that he'll be out there doing his best to defend uh, his title. I think you just uh, you know you take one match at a time. But you know, he's been playing at Wimbledon since two. 2002 when he first got into the junior event as a 15 year old so he knows exactly what to expect um, you know it's a, it's a huge occasion for all of the players but I think particularly for the British players you know the atmosphere is incredible and the crowd support can lift everybody you know when the crowd gets behind you so I, uh, I'm sure that he's going to go out there and rise to the occasion. Well I haven't um, you know, been working on the, 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 sort the sort of performance end of the, of the game since I stopped doing the Fed Cup captaincy last so year so I'm a little bit out of touch yeah, with um, how they're all playing but I remember her from the juniors and it's good to see her pushing her way through in the seniors but the grass court season represents a huge opportunity for the young British players because they can be wild carded which is basically an, an, an entry which your ranking wouldn't get you in directly, but because it is a Great Britain tournament, they, they can give a certain number of slots to our young players. And because less of the top players are comfortable playing on grass, because very few countries have grass courts now, our players are comfortable on it. So you will find the opportunity for a lot of upsets and a big jump in the ranking. So it's a huge opportunity for a, for a player like Katie Bolter. Well, I think you, it makes you believe that anything's possible. Um, it raises the profile significantly. And um, I think that you know, we can use that in, in the women's side of the game to inspire the players that are already there, that are working their way up through the junior ranks and, and, and the early um, stages of, this, of the senior women's ranks, but also to inspire people who are sitting at home watching on TV or playing in schools, playing in the parks, playing in the clubs, that you know what, anything is possible. And just finally, uh, from a personal point of view, you're going to become a grandma again, which, which is lovely news. Um, you'll be delighted by that, and is that a welcome distraction for anybody? That's lovely news. Thank you, Judy.